Hey guys, Concealed Carry Junkie, James Reeves here again for TFB TV. Man, the single stack nine millimeter market has jammed up and I love it. Just about every manufacturer makes a single stack nine millimeter semi-automatic pistol and almost all of them are good. But just like everything else, you got your guys, right? We all know them. You got your Smith & Wesson guy who will only carry a shield. You got your buddy who's the Glock guy who will only carry a Glock 43. You got that one hipster buddy who's a Starbucks barista and he carries a Walther P38. Every Everybody has a single stack 9mm that they love for one reason or another, and you certainly have Springfield XD guys out there. Springfield announced the new XDS Mod 2 this morning, and they were awesome enough to send me a copy for my personal review well in advance. So I've taken it to the range, I put a few hundred rounds through it, and I'm going to tell you about that today. If you don't know what a Springfield XD is, the Springfield XD was one of the first true Glock competitors on the market in terms of striker fired polymer handguns and it's good to see them evolving with their competition. In this case, the XDS is a nine millimeter single stack, which means it's only 0.95 inches thick. So it's very small, very compact, but it holds seven plus one rounds of nine millimeter. But Springfield makes magazines that are eight round magazines and nine round magazines for the XDS, although they will add a little bit of length to your grip. Speaking of evolution, I've got the Springfield XDS in nine millimeter mod two. So that means that there are some upgrades from the standard Mod 1 Springfield XDS that we're gonna go over real quick. They've redesigned the grip to give the gun a lower bore axis. You can get a lot higher on that gun and it's got a slightly larger beaver tail on the back. The Mod 2 also changes the grip texture from the Mod 1. They shifted to like that skateboard tape type texture that I love. Some people don't like it because they feel like it's very abrasive on their skin if you're carrying close to the body, but I think it's great, very grippy. You actually have a a lot of manufacturers moving in that direction like Smith & Wesson with the Shield 2.0. They also switched to that skateboard tape type texture. I think this is an excellent upgrade. The Mod 2 also has a very aggressive and comfortable undercut on the trigger guard. Now a lot of people don't understand the significance of an undercut. It actually helps a little bit with recoil mitigation, but really where it shines is long range sessions. You're firing your gun over and over and over. Having that undercut leads to a little bit less wear and tear on your fingers whenever you're shooting. Unlike some of the competition, the Springfield XDS also has an accessory rail under the dust cover that uses universal rail accessories. It's got an ambidextrous mag release, a loaded chamber indicator, it uses a hammer forged 3.3 inch barrel. You're gonna get a lot more durability out of that hammer forged barrel, and you're also going to get corrosion resistance because Springfield has melanited their barrels. The Mod 2 also has something called tack rack sights, which are flat front rear sights. And that means that you can press those sights against a firm object and use that to cycle the action manually with one hand. Speaking of sights, not only do you have the tack rack rear sight, but the front sights are night sights. They're Tritium Ameriglow night sights. Ameriglow, one of my favorite night sight companies. The Mod 2 also has very deep, very grippy rear slide serrations. And it's also got this neat feature that they call the standoff recoil rod. Now that is, say for example, I, I, if I produce my Glock 43 and something bumps up against the slide, the front of the slide, and it slightly knocks the gun out of battery, I can't fire it. I mean, you're talking about just a centimeter of movement and my gun is deactivated. So what Springfield has done is they've taken the recoil rod, they made it rigid, and it extends just slightly past the front of the slide. And that prevents, say, if you bumped your gun on an object or a person, a body, whatever, it's going to prevent your slide from being pressed backwards and therefore your gun is going to stay in battery and ready to fire. Of course, it has the Springfield XD grip safety. A lot of people like that feature. A lot of people don't like that feature, but it prevents you from firing the gun unless you have a firing grip on the pistol. But what is the most important thing when you're talking about a carry gun? You want it to be reliable. So Springfield says that when they were testing the XDS Mod 2 out, they shot 25,000 rounds through one copy of the gun and it had zero malfunctions the entire time and no breakage. So they were testing this thing hard and I respect that because it seems like a lot of manufacturers are not doing that these days. But this is also a very shootable gun. I went to the range with Brandon LaBeouf, you guys know him, and we were both very impressed with this pistol. We both managed to shoot it pretty dang accurately. The trigger's great, very short reset on the trigger, and it's a pretty smooth trigger. It's one of the better triggers out there in the market. I'm reluctant 
to opine and say that one gun has a better trigger than this other gun because at a certain point it becomes so subjective. Only if you have a super fantastic trigger or a super terrible trigger is it really worth talking about. But this is a very good trigger and I think most people would probably place this in the top tier among its competitors. But it handled recoil very well, the short reset was nice, the larger beaver tail was nice, the grip texture was great. You're also talking about a seven plus one gun. So while it holds one more round than say the Glock 43, which is a six round plus one, this is a seven round plus one, but it's gonna add a little bit of size and weight. And that's the other thing. If you wanna compare this to say like the Car PM9, which weighs 14 ounces, or the Glock 43, which weighs 16 ounces. Now, both of those are six plus one guns. Well, the XD Mod 2 weighs 21 and a half ounces. So it's significantly heavier than the other two six plus one options out there, but it's only about half an ounce heavier than the Smith & Wesson Shield. So it's not a very heavy gun, and the Smith & Wesson Shield is also a seven plus one gun. So it seems like the number for seven plus one guns is like around 20, 21, 22 ounces. And this gun fits kind of on the heavier end of that scale, but it's still a pretty lightweight gun. So what does that mean dimensionally? Well, here I am comparing it to a Glock 43. Almost all of the dimensions are identical, except the XD of course is taller because of that seven plus one grip. So let me make a checklist for you guys that want to make new single stack nine millimeters out there. First of all, it's got to be reliable. And again, we talked about the 25,000 round test that Springfield did with this gun. Second, it's got to be less than an inch thick. That's a big check here. You're talking about 0.95 inches thick on the Springfield XDS Mod 2. It's also got to offer a lot of useful options right out of the box, and the Springfield XDS Mod 2 does that. It comes with night sights. It comes with the TAC rack flat rear sight, very excellent grip texture, it's got the undercut, it's got the extended beaver tail, and an accessory rail. So it comes pretty well loaded right out of the box. It's also gonna be compact and lightweight, and we talked about this a little bit while the XDS Mod 2 is a little bit on the heavier side of the scale, it's still comparable with its direct competitor, which would be the Smith & Wesson Shield. It's also gonna be able to withstand corrosion, the XDS does that. It's got the melanite finish, which is an an excellent rust fighter. Finally, it's also got to be reasonably priced, and fortunately, the XDS Mod 2 is. I don't know what the street price is going to be today when this video goes live, but as of right now, MSRP is $524. I would imagine a $75 to $100 deduction off of that for your street price, and if that's the case, if this gun's coming in at $450 or less, with all the features it comes with, that's a pretty good deal. So Springfield XD fans, guys that are out there looking for a new carry gun, I bring you good news. The Springfield XDS Mod 2 looks good to go right out of the gate. So if you liked what you heard in this video, I'd maybe go check one out. But I wanna say thank you to Springfield. It was really cool of you guys to send me an early copy to review so I can make this video. I gotta say thank you as usual to Blue Alpha Gear, one of the best sponsors in the world. They make the greatest tactical belts that money can buy. And thank you as usual to Ventura Munitions. They've been my boys since like virtually day one of TFB TV. Always appreciate them. As you see here, shot all Ventura Munitions, nine millimeter ammo through this XDS Mod 2, ran perfectly. And guys, that's one of the nice things about Ventura. You can buy loose quarter case ammo at virtually case prices. So go check them out. But most of all, thank you guys as usual for watching. I love you and I will see you next week. Take care.